Good afternoon. If you're new here, my name's Anna. I'm coming on here to um to show a ring that I just purchased that I'm really excited about and jewelry that I'm going to put on my um eBay account. Uh that I just start I just opened it. But first of all, let me show the ring. Um he has his own home. He's so fabulous. Uh, this is an Einar Fern, I believe you pronounce his name. Uh, Danish modernist jewelry artist. <laughs> but this is the ring. Let me see if I can get it placed on there. I purchased this from Thelma Thrift at her auction. But it's it's quite, I think it's um, fantastic. Looks like a piece of cake on, um, on a plate. Did some research on it and... Um, I know that most of his rings have Baltic amber. This looks like Baltic amber to me. He's a um, he cre create was the founder of the House of Amber in 1933. I believe this one is circa 1960s. It has his initials on it, and it has sterling marked on it, and it's made well. I tested it, lightly scraped it, didn't want to damage it because um, I really like the ring. I won't be selling this one. And if fiery red, it lit up fiery red. Um, and not all silver does that. I have a difficult time looking at the colors on a lot of them. But this one is definitely fine Danish silver hair. Um, it's very nice. And I really like it. I just wanted to show it um, that. And I wanted to mention that uh, if anybody sees anything they want to purchase from me, you can email me at sistersvintage2 at yahoo.com. That email is down in my about section, I mean the description section of this video. I also sell a Mercari, and my Mercari link is included in my about section, and it is also in my, um, the banner on my channel homepage. But go on there and check me out. I have um, a five-star rating for my sales and I've sold nearly 300 items over the last, um, to be a year at the end of next month. And I have hundreds of items up for sale there. But anyways, on eBay, which I just opened a few days ago, I have my Bakelite um, up there. Starting bid of $50, I have two bids on it and I have three watchers if you want to go check out my bangle on eBay. I have the link to take you straight to the bangle down in the description section of this video. Hopefully I get more than 50 bucks for it. I'm thinking I will, but if I don't, um, I'm new on eBay and a new seller in general, and this didn't cost me much, so it'll be no real loss for me. But it's a nice bangle. Test uh, with uh, 490 and baking soda. There's a picture of that there. It's also on my Mercari site as well, like buy it now, 150 I think. But anyways, that's up. I have these earrings here. These are Pierre Laurie and Sylvia Castle Paris earrings. Um, they're nice. I believe these are circa 1980s. And these will be going up on my eBay. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. If I'm going to do an auction and start them at where I'm comfortable. Or if I'm going to increase, you know, uh, just do a buy it now. Not certain. I think these are on my Mercari now. Um, I, I don't really, I think I have them on there as well. I don't know if I clicked them off because I'm going to sell them. But anyways, I have this nice uh, vintage Hobe. Am I, if I'm not pronouncing that right, sorry, but I've never really heard of the uh, <laughs> brand before I started selling jewelry. H-O-B-E Hobe, I think it is. It has the marking on it. It's in great shape and has these pretty um chips of crystals it's in really good shape this will be put on ebay this is beautiful this is a napier um leaf brooch these those are rhinestones clustered all over there and it shines beautifully and then the back which i thought was cool in the copyright space there is a little glass rhinestone there but this I, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this probably a buy it now but it's it's nice it's a nicer higher end nappier piece um the plating's in perfect shape it's nice um I'll probably put that up I have this set to enamel I had this evaluated and I was told that it was probably made uh, to 
when Eisenberg had their um, enamel pieces and I, but this is a new name and it's not Eisenberg. I'm not saying that, <laughs> but it's nice. I have the earrings that are screw back. They're in good shape. I have the brooch and the bracelet with the, in the box class, the hidden one. This is up on my Mercari page right now. It's a no-name um, enamel gold tone. It's nice. I'm going to put that on eBay, I think. And I have these two beautiful listener bracelets. Um, this one's silver tone with rhodium plating. Vintage. It has the label of listener there. And it has white rhinestones. And then I have this one. It's really cool. It looks like a tree branch. No fading on this either. It looks like branches from a tree. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. They're both on my Mercari page though right now. And I got myself some gloves for when my hands are a mess. Check them out. <laughs> um, they're not too bad now. I haven't been working. I don't have the long nails. I don't like fake nails. Even when I stop cleaning, uh, it's less any more and more. I'll probably get some pedicures and gel polish. I don't like fake nails. But I got these in case my hands get unsightly again. Lovely. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Um, check out my eBay page. Uh, maybe check out my Mercari. This is not on Mercari. This is, and these, this is, and I think these are. And I think I left this on, although it's up for auction. I, sh I need to remove this because I have to sell it now um, since I have bids on it. So I'll take that off of my Mercari and it'll remain on eBay and whatever it sells for, it sells for. Hopefully I get a good price for it. I'm suspecting I will. I have three people watching getting two bids on it. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to come on here. I really, really wanted to come on here and show my f this piece of cake ring. And I don't know. I get excited looking at that. I love it. And I'm on the lookout for things like this, guys. So if you're selling, lure me in. <laughs> I'll spend money. I'm joking. Um, seriously, uh, I like uh, the modernist, brutalist. I like the differing things. I like things different that um, that you don't find everywhere. But anyways, okay. And I love vintage jewelry as well. So can't say I don't. Uh, okay. I'll talk to you later. And I hope you have a wonderful day and a really wonderful weekend. I'm in the works of trying to get a thread up box or another Goodwill bag. I got a little discarded. Okay, I said I was ending it, but I'm not ending it. Okay, let me go on here. A little discouraged with the Shop Goodwill, a slight bit. Just a little bit, not real bad. There's a lot of fake silver in there, so that did have me a little discouraged, but I know how to test it, and I I will. And um, like I said, I don't, I don't pass anything off unless I'm confirmed at what it is. I, I will not do that ever. Um, but that's it. I'm, I'm in the works of looking for a good shop Goodwill, and I want to try thread up. I see a couple people doing it, and they look good with the purses and stuff. I'd like to try that at least once. But that's it. That's my video. Unedited. A little rough, but it's me, Anna. You yeah, have a good day. Thank you.